Well, Gemini Nano Banana Pro is basically everywhere. It is now available in plenty of Google tools, including Google Feeds. So I have this picture that I created in Google Feeds. And of course, it is created using the Gemini Nano Banana Pro model. And because of that, the picture quality is going to be great. It is sharp. It is also realistic. And as a bonus, you can generate an AI image without that annoying watermark. So usually if you're using the Gemini platform, you will see the watermark at the bottom right corner of the picture. But as you can see on this picture, there is no watermark whatsoever. And of course, since this is Google Feeds, you can easily convert that picture into a moving video. And I would say the result is pretty good. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a picture using Gemini Nano Banana Pro in Google Feeds. And we are also going to learn how to edit that photo. And of course, turning the photo into a moving video. So let's get into it. So first, before we continue, there is one thing here that you need to know. This availability, the Gemini Nano Banana Pro in Google Feeds is not quite clear. So according to this blog post, apparently this feature uh, on Google Feeds is available for the pro subscribers, uh, including Google Enterprise, Google for Business, etc. But there is no mention for the free user. However, I checked another article, which also from Google, and apparently it is available for personal Google account and you will get 50 credits every month. So you can generate a picture up to 50 times in Google Feeds using Gemini Nano Banana Pro. But the details about this is very uh, uh, blurry i would say it's not quite clear and google keeps changing the policy when it comes to when and who can use this new feature but anyway uh, if you're not quite sure and you you just want to use the feature that i do recommend to join something called google workspace labs program just type on google workspace labs and you can join the program this is an alternative if you don't want to pay for the paid version of google or gemini subscription and i do encourage you to do this because you will, uh, will have access to amazing ai tools in some google products now after that after you have joined the program or perhaps you subscribe to the paid version of google ai then you can navigate to feed dot google.com and i'm going to start a new video so this is a tool that is actually made mostly for business where they can create some video presentation quite easily now here uh, depending on uh, what kind of plan that you're using on your google account you can click the image button with this uh, banana icon or you can also click uh, generate button there's going to be uh, some menu called generate and it is basically the same thing you can generate a picture so i'm going to copy this prompt that i prepared for this video and let me just paste that right here you can specify the aspect ratio by clicking this button and you can choose between square landscape and portrait in this case i want to create a landscape picture and you can also select the style but that is completely optional so let me just send a message and just wait for gemini nano banana pro to turn that prompt or description into a picture so again uh, this menu on the side on, on the right side of the screen could be could look a bit different depending on what kind of google account that you have i should check that on my uh another account my free account and there is no image button i can still create image through the menu called generate but there is no image button but still it was using gemini nano banana pro okay there you go so we got uh, this picture and if you just want to download picture and you know you want to utilize this google fits uh, tool to to get a picture without watermark you can actually just right click and then set the image to your computer but bear in mind that right now uh, the Gemini Nano Banana Pro in Google Feeds can only generate 1K picture. So it is not even 2K. So it is Gemini Nano Banana Pro. It is really good, but it is not the biggest resolution. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Anyway, I'm going to continue. Let me just insert this into my video. I'm going to click insert. And okay, so how do you convert that into a video? Well, you can click this convert to video button. And of course, it is going to be using the video model from Google. And you can describe what needs to happen in that video. So let's say I want to make this, uh, let's say make her 
uh, move out of the scene and click generate so while it is still generating this video which will take about one or maybe two minutes I will actually create another scene and I just want to utilize the image editing capability so let me just go back to the image menu and then I'm going to insert that picture again and click insert and then click edit image again th that button the edit image button is also available even in the free plan of Google so uh, I have check that and yes you can edit the picture using Gemini Nano Banana Pro so here I want to replace the rose with a big giant big yellow banana and let's send a message and just wait so it is I still remember that about a week ago when I'm testing this feature when Google has released this announcement that hey Gemini Nano Banana Pro is available in Google Feeds when I checked that it is actually still using the lower resolution uh not re lower resolution it is actually 1k or maybe 2k but at the time it was kind of blurry the picture is blurry i i know it is gemini nano banana pro but it is not very sharp so i think they have some version of nano banana that is that, that has been perhaps lobotomized so it is not as good as the regular version that you're seeing on the gemini platform anyway i think we got the, the video so let me check the video first let me play it oh that that wasn't the video sorry about that let me just go back to video and i'm going to add another scene and let me just insert this video click insert and okay let me just play it okay uh she's just moving out of the scene exactly what i wanted okay yeah it is able to follow my prompting now let's go back to that image editing and there you go so she used to hold a rose uh basically a big pack a big group of rows I, I don't know the exact term for that but yeah now she's now holding a banana so two different pictures i mean they're they're very similar but now the one thing that is different is only the item that she's holding so yeah uh, that's essentially how you can generate a picture edit the picture using gemini nano banana pro in google feeds and of course you can also turn that picture into a movie video using the video model thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video i wish you a great day ahead